Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Is Tarot. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far whenever you come across this video. And yeah, so today we're going to be looking at what is something that your person wants to tell you, okay? So this is kind of like messages from your person. Um, I'm just not going to be pulling out a lot of messages, okay? So this is going to be a very, um, a lot shorter than my other videos, okay? Next week we'll do longer videos, but yeah, I just wanted to keep this short. I know a lot of you guys like the shorter videos, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, I actually recorded this yesterday, but the audio came out really bad, and I feel like it was for a reason. Yeah, when Spirit doesn't want me to upload something, they'll make something happen, so. <laughs> um, so yeah let's get into the question of the day okay so question is what did i do oh okay so the question of the day is let me know down below what is something that you've always wanted to do okay so this can be on a on like a bucket list or something that you have even if you don't have a bucket list just what is something that you've always wanted to do um obviously that you haven't done yet so I haven't thought about, about my answer because there's like a few things that I've wanted to do. So I'll think of one thing that I really, 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 really want to do and type it down below when I upload my video. But yeah, you guys feel free to answer that question. And I am going to be picking two winners for from this reading. I was going to do it last reading, but not a lot of people commented and I want to give it like a fair chance, okay? So yeah, you guys, let's get into this video. Uh, so we have three beautiful piles in front of us today, okay? So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So pile one is this beautiful um, amethyst quartz, or I, I should say like amethyst cluster crystal, really. Okay. Pile two is the heart-shaped rose quartz. And pile three is the rainbow fluorite. Okay, very beautiful crystal. All right, my loves. So take your time on picking a pile. If you feel drawn to more than one, please feel free to go ahead and pick it. Okay, if one doesn't start to like... Um, if one of the piles that you pick doesn't really resonate, try the other ones or just try a different reading. I have a lot of other readings here, so yeah, loves. I'll give you guys a few seconds. And let's start with pile one. Okay, pile one for you guys that chose this beautiful amethyst crystal, okay? Let's go ahead and see what is it that your person wants to tell you right now? What is a quick message from them? Oh god, my dog is gonna start barking. It's okay. Okay, pile one. <laughs> Do you have other people right now trying to get your attention? Um... Because that is a message coming through even before I, even before I lay the cards down. There's someone here watching, if it's not all of you guys, for you guys pile one. There could be, um, there could be like two people here that is trying to get my feminine's attention, okay? If it's not that, your person's kind of scared of it that someone's trying to get your attention or that someone's going to win you over and they're not going to have you like those thoughts are coming through their mind <laughs> I don't know why. um yeah and like a little bit of jealousy because of that a little bit that is a message for someone bef even before we get into it that is something that came through let me get the bottom of your deck here all right pile one so let's get into it let me look at your tarot Okay, this is really some really nice energy. Okay, that's coming through. Um, you 
you know, it's funny, my neighbors right now are like throwing away their um, trash and putting their dumpsters away. I feel like your person is doing a lot of purging and clearing out. Um, yeah, I can clearly see that. Or they have. They've literally like thrown away things that just don't work for them anymore. This person has done some some powerful change already and there's more to come. Okay, Pio One. So we have the Knight of Cups here. I do feel like your person right now, what they want to tell you is that they uh, <laughs> they're coming through with some like romantic, if not romantic, then flirtatious feelings right now. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if if they hit if they do hit you up soon. Okay, or if you guys are in communication. Okay, please take it as it resonates. Um, that you'll get some flirty text message or maybe just some romantic like words of exchange here okay between you and this person this person wants a lot of growth with you okay they want growth in this situation um pile one your person what they want to tell you really bad is that they're really gaining the courage right now to come forward towards you to make an offer I do sense, Pile One, that if you guys are not in communication right now or in little communication, they're building up the courage to do so. It's like they're not they're not there yet, but currently they want to tell you something. I think that the Page of Wands is really calling to me. All three cards, these three cards are really calling to me for a reason. And I feel like your person really wants to tell you, it's like, hey, like, just hang tight. I am really, like, trying to build up all this courage to tell you something. Well, I think I'm going to clarify the page of wands because I want to know what it is that they want to say. Um, I'm just a little curious. But, yeah, it's really nice energy. I do sense a little bit of nervousness, though. I don't know why. But they want to. And I feel like part of them is ready. It's just that they're holding back a little bit before doing Yeah. My fingers are tingling so here we have the six of swords in the reverse okay i'm getting uh, a few messages with that so for some of you guys pile one i do see that your person's letting you know that um they're they're almost done healing okay for some of them they're literally like really at the end of it and some of them they are still healing right now okay so it's hard i'm also getting another message that um for some of you guys if you guys are at a distance your person really wants to travel towards you okay so if this is like a long distance connection or something like that your person really 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 wants to come towards you and it's just that right now they're unable to because this is the six of swords in the reverse right and they're sad about that i feel like it's they're sad that they can't come towards you right now. For some of them, they're holding back from coming towards you because they want to come towards you or in, back into your life ready. Yeah, that is a really strong message here. This is beautiful energy. Underlying energy. Oops. Underlying energy. We have the two of um, two of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Crowning energy is the Ten of Swords, and overall energy is the Four of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So with the underlying energy, we do have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like your person's wishy-washy, like subconsciously, because that is in the subconscious, if they should or should not. Because like the majority of their energy, they want to let you know like, hey, I want growth with you and I want to come towards you. Like they have a lot of feelings for you. I do see that with the Knight of Cups. They miss what you guys had. I can clearly see that, okay? If you are in communication with this person, um, they just want to move this to the next level, okay? So please take it as it resonates to however your situation looks, but I am seeing that directly from your person. It's just like, they're kind of thinking like, should we do this now or should we do this later? Um, there is some hurt right now with the Ten of Swords and it could be because they're cleansing right now. Because when you cleanse, it, it does hurt a bit, right? Because you're leaving things behind. Um, if you think about when you're, when you cleanse, right? Uh, especially with emotions, those emotions first need to surface. So if you want to cleanse regret, if you want to cleanse, um, anger, uh, trust issues, you need to think of those things and feel them. If you don't feel them, then you can't release them, right? So right now, they could still be in the process of releasing all of that, and that's what's kind of uncomfortable for them. I But I can see clearly that they are... Um, it's almost like your person has hit rock bottom, okay? I do see that. 
Um, yeah, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, or sorry, not Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups here. Yeah, you know what I'm really getting, Pile One, is like, they don't want any other connection. Like, I do see that they've made the choice that they want this. I don't know why I'm getting that so strongly, but it's like the universe is like, hey, um, like, you can do this for now, or you can do this, and they're like, no. <laughs> for some of them, it's like, they need you back in their life to be happy. Yeah. Hmm. Some of them are a little bit stuck right now, I will say, okay? Like, they want to do all this, but they feel stuck. I'm getting a stuck energy with the Four of Cups here. Like, the universe is like, look... You can do this about the situation, okay? You can move forward or you can say something and they're like, just not right now. Just please not right now. I have a lot on my plate or something like that. I am getting that energy from your person. Because again, they want to do all this, but they're hurt because they're stopping themselves. I clearly see that they're stopping themselves. And I do see this indecision as to like, should should I say something right now or should I not? I, I really do get that. I want to see this card for more info. Okay. Oh, that's that's so weird because i yeah i read this as the four of pentacles by accident okay yeah they are for now pile one okay <laughs> um they are hiding a lot of how they're feeling okay towards you they're not wanting to release all of it they do one day because they want growth with you okay or the next level they're just not saying it right now so you guys could be talking having a good time right if you guys are in communication um you know, being funny with each other and all this. And deep down, they want more. They just haven't had the courage. Or they haven't built up the bravery to say it. So please be patient with them, you guys. <laughs> like, this is really cute energy. Um, let's go ahead and uh, clarify some of this. This is nice. I want to clarify the... Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Wands. What is this? The Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Hold on, you guys. Too many. What is the Page of Wands? Can we please clarify it? The Page of Wands. Thank you. We have um, the Nine of Wands. Okay, interesting. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I have to say, you guys, hold on. Give me one second. Thank you. We have the, uh, what is this? Aw, two of pentacles in the reverse. That's beautiful energy with the, what is this? Ten of wands in the reverse. Okay, yeah. I, oh, you guys, look, ten of cups. Okay, because <clears throat> you know, you guys know I clarify with three and look at the bottom. I have to say, you guys, these three cards clarifying the page of wands, I see that they've already made the decision that they're going to go ahead and tell you. Like, they have told themselves that. So they know one day they have to come towards you and tell you how it is that they feel, okay? I can clearly see that. So that's not something that you have to worry about. They've already told themselves, okay, yeah, you have to, you have to do it, okay? I am sensing that your person, like, this whole situation of just opening up and telling you something like how they feel or that they want growth or maybe you know if this is a breakup situation they want to get back together whatever they want to take this to the next level if you guys are together it's like um it really like it's a lot for your person <laughs> i'm giggling a little bit because like you know for it's hard it's hard for your person to be vulnerable i can see that um we have the nine of wands here and i'm just like looking at this guy it's like it's hard to work after battle right it's like it's about the nine of wands is about um persevering right you have to keep going and this man is just like oh my gosh like one more step because it's the number nine right not the number 10 10 is completion but one step away they just have to talk and it's like oh i don't want to do this <laughs> but they're going to they've made that decision with the two of pentacles in the reverse really they have decided this it's just like the matter of like when when do they tell you right and then we have the ten of ones in the reverse. They know that once they tell you, this big weight is going to be lifted off their shoulders. Like, I feel like it's really, like, that's why the ten of swords is there. It's like, it's really weighing on them every time that they think, like, oh my god, I need to tell them this, or I want to tell them this, and I don't know how. Like, that is literally what I'm getting. But look how nice. Like, once you guys, like, once they do... 
Like, this is what they want, is the Ten of Cups. They just want to cuddle. That's so cute. <laughs> I love this energy. This is really nice energy. Yeah. They just feel stuck right now because they're like, well, how do I move forward? Right? Let them figure it out, you guys. Yeah, they have to. This is their journey, right? This is definitely their journey. Um, I feel like oftentimes we forget that. That, like, yes, union involves two people, but you guys have two different journeys to get to that union, right? So let's just, let's remember that. Um, and this person has done a lot of growth. Like, I can see, I'm getting that from the Ace of Pentacles as well. Is like, they're letting you know, like, hey, I'm still learning right now. I'm, I'm still figuring things out. I'm growing up. I, I am getting that, like a sense from your person. That's why they're building up their bravery. And it's really nice. Um, we have clearing. Make room for growth. See, that's what I'm talking about. And I feel like that's why your person is a little bit like, okay, let's not do this right now, right? Like they're upset because like the universe is like, you can if you want to, but they're like, mm, maybe it's not the right time. Like your person's thinking like, mm, maybe not right now because I'm not done healing yet. So I have to say like, let this person do it when they're ready. Obviously, you have no choice, right? What I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say, Pile One, is that if you are in communication with this person, you don't push them. Um, they will do it. I see that they've made the decision too, and I think that that's very special about them. And they're clearing right now. They are healing. They are healing right now, my loves. I feel like they're almost done with this in reverse. It's like it's almost at a completion, okay? So... You just kind of have to keep going. Um, we do have Journey and Ride the Wave. And it's so interesting that you got two of the, like both of these cards. Because I am seeing like similarities between them. Because for one, the color. There is a lot of green in both cards. Which is Heart Chakra. So I feel like your person is doing a lot of Heart Chakra healing. That's like mainly what it is. Okay. Um, and another thing too is like they do want to travel towards you. They want to close this like separation, the distance, whether it's like separation, um, emotional separation. Okay. Maybe it's, it is actual physical. Okay. Or maybe even verbal separation. You guys aren't talking right now. It'll be different for all of you guys, <clears throat> but they do want this to come to an end. Okay. Um, but a lot of them do want to travel towards you and that's what's killing them is that they know right now that they can't. With the right of the wave, your person is telling you, like, hey, just continue your journey, too, because that's what's helping me. Like, pile one, you keep going on your own path, and this person will catch up, okay? I feel like, um, you guys, there's nothing that, like, if you guys are meant for each other, pile one, it's like nothing can really interfere. No distance, no person, no outside force, no inside forces, like, negative thinking like all of that will be cleared out of the way okay and i feel like for this person is literally doing the necessary changes to come towards you and i i don't know i just really like this person like i like their mindset i like what they're doing i haven't seen like i want to say like i haven't seen this much growth in a while i really like this they, they are putting in the effort um so they're just letting you know hey like please just kind of be patient with me and go with the flow for right now because uh, i'm still growing Okay, we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah, so I do like your person again is telling you to be patient with them and they're also learning how to be patient because it does hurt. Crowning energy is what they're feeling right now, what they're thinking. It hurts to be away from you or it hurts to not talk. It hurts to be in separation. It hurts to not open up about how they feel and they're letting you know like, hey, please I'm getting my stuff together. Just just hang tight. Hang tight. Last card we have here is expect powerful change. I'm telling you guys, I feel like this is a card from the universe. Is like this situation is growing a lot more than you think it is. Okay? Yeah, your person's quiet right now. I see that if they are coming through with communication, it's very lighthearted. It's not like telling you like, oh my god, you know, I envisioned this with you. I want it, It's not there yet, but it doesn't mean that one day it won't because this person has made the decision to open up one day. It's just like, they're just saying like, hey, just, um, just wait a little bit longer. All right, loves. <clears throat> yeah, see, my throat is starting to close up now. They don't want to. <laughs> they're afraid to. It's not that they don't want to because they do. Um, it's just hard for them to. 
Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and get like three messages, just three short messages from your person, from my pile once person with us. What is something that they want to tell them? From my pile once person. From my pile once person. Okay, that's too many. From my pile once person. Thank you. You are part of my story. Yeah, I feel like with the journey card, you guys, like, you guys were meant to, like, find each other. And I do feel like, I don't like to give fluff readings pile one. Like, you guys know that if you guys have been through my channel. However, there is something really special about you guys. I don't know what it is. I do feel like you guys entered each other's life to trigger each other, okay? So, pile one, whoever my feminine energy is, there's a lot of masculine coming through, but whoever my feminine energy is, I feel like you've done a lot of growth as well because I can see that your person's still going through it. But, um, yeah, this is really nice. I'm going to say it because I'm feeling it. This, this, this pile is heading towards union. You don't have to worry. There is something something sneaky that the universe is hiding behind your back and it deals with this union here you're not gonna expect it you're not like be surprised loves i don't know i do get the sense to say that yeah they're gonna surprise you like the universe because this is the ace of pentacles right it's a gift from the universe they're gonna surprise you with this with this union between you and this person you are so attractive oh that's so sweet <laughs> Yeah, you're like, you're magnetic, pile one. Okay, we'll take it. It says, I am still figuring it out. I told you guys that came through. I Didn't I not say that earlier? They're still figuring it out, yeah. And then we have, I am not free to pursue what I want. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, again, with the stuck energy here and here, they feel like they still can't come towards you fully and tell you how it is what they feel with what they feel it could be because of responsibilities however i am going to say for a lot of them it's distance and for a lot of them it's because they know that they're still healing so they know that they're not free to come towards you because it's not going to work out if they did it's almost like um it's almost like for those of you guys that are separated or like in a breakup if they asked you hey like let's get back together for some of them, they would be ready, but if they're still not, it just, it wouldn't work out still because they're still figuring it out, if that makes any sense. Okay, loves? Um, so yeah, my loves, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile two. Don't forget to comment something down below. I am picking two winners from this reading, and I will announce them in my next reading. All right, my loves, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, pile two for you guys that chose this beautiful um, heart-shaped rose quartz let's go ahead and see how it or what is it that your person wants to tell you right now at this moment okay so we have the fool we have the nine of swords interesting nine of pentacles page of wands all right Okay. All right, Liz. Let me get the bottom of your deck. And let me get a sip of my coffee. <laughs> and let's go ahead and see what is it that your person wants to tell you right now, this little short message. Okay, pile two. Um, interesting energy. So what I see that your person wants to tell you, loves, is right now, I feel like your person could be re getting ready to take a leap of faith because the first card we have out is the fool, right? So I definitely see that coming through. I also like, 
I'm also getting like some sort of story. Like, okay, first of all, yeah, one of the scenarios is I feel like your person sees, um, yeah, I'm going to say it because it's coming through. And this will resonate with some of you guys. There's other messages here, but just hang tight. So what your person wants to come through is like, come through with is letting you know that, um, they see that you're doing good without them. Okay, this is for some of you guys, so just hang tight in there, okay? And with them seeing that you're doing good without them, it's pretty much kind of like, it hurts them, okay? It hurts them a lot. It it, it gets them into an energy of um, maybe like a little bit anxiety. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. It's like, wow, he or she really grew after like we broke up or we separated, okay? For some of you guys. Um, yeah, that is something that's coming through. And your person kind of wants to fix that, okay? They don't... Because they see you doing really good. Um, and I feel like this person is starting to realize what they had for a lot of you guys. That is the message that's coming through. For others of you guys, I do see that your person is... Uh, I feel like they're kind of... Uh, I feel like they want to take a leap of faith towards you, okay? I can clearly see that. They want to be in this Page of Wands energy, like ready for a new beginning, ready to tell you... I feel like they want to tell you something really bad. Um, I don't know why. I keep seeing that this is my masculine energy with the Nine of Swords. I do feel like right now they're going through it, right? Um... I do feel like a lot of them are going through some type of anxiety. If it's not anxiety, they're just having trouble sleeping. And it's because they are aware that you're... They are, they're afraid that they're going to lose you, guys. All right? I do see that. They're really scared that they're going to lose you, guys. Underlying energy. We have the Five of Swords. Crowning energy. Yep. We have the High Priestess. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, like, your person knows that they hurt you okay and now they're saying that like wow you know i feel like they just know whether you guys are in communication or not they know that you got back up and you're doing like a lot better you're giving yourself a lot of more self-love and i guess what they're trying to say is like i i'm kind of i'm stupid i don't know why that's coming through but it is like i'm stupid so if this isn't like the case loves this may not be your pile check pile one or pile three okay but that is a really strong message that's coming through and now it's like your person's kind of in the Ten of Swords energy with like, did I lose like my one and only? I am getting that. Um, like, what do I, where do I go from here? Okay, they're really hurt and they're trying to decide like, do I still have a chance? Right? Do I still have a chance with my pile too? Because I see them. I don't know, pile two, if you post stuff on social media or maybe they ask friends about you or something and they say that you're doing great. But they feel like maybe you won't accept them or they're just scared that you won't. I can I can really see that. Underlying energy is the five of swords. So I have to say, you guys, your person is coming in from like a background energy, if that makes sense. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. It's like they see you as this like beautiful light with this nine of pentacles. Someone that can have anything that they want, right? Anyone that they want um very independent and they're over here and they're like did i do the right thing i'm also getting that they're getting a lot of synchronicities from the universe okay that's another message that's coming through like they keep bothering them no i don't want to use the word bothering because <laughs> god my spirit guides are gonna get mad at me you guys don't bother people but i feel like they are over and over like um picking this person like hey 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 so like you know they can send them signs however through numbers through words i don't know through music maybe maybe when this person goes to the store they like 
I don't know, go to a cashier and like the cashier's name is like you, you whoever's watching Pile 2, right? Like signs like that, like, or they hear your name and somewhere in public or wherever they're at. Like it, it seems like they can't um, escape you, okay? And this person's like, I just can't deal with this anymore. Like, I don't, how, what am I doing, right? And in the background, what this person doesn't see is that they are ascending and that's why they feel confused, okay your person right now is at the ten of swords energy and maybe the nine of swords or the nine of swords that's as well because like they're ascending and they don't understand it pile two whoever my feminine energy is i sense that it's you that's watching but please take it as it resonates you understand the ascension part you understand what an awakening is probably a lot better than your person does so they're here like what the heck am i going crazy like <laughs> That is literally what I'm get what I'm getting is like, am I going crazy? I feel nuts. Like, what is going on? Why can't I just get this person out of my head? And really, look at this beautiful crowning energy for your person. It's the high priestess, right? They're learning how to follow their intuition. But again, it's such an unknown territory for your person pile too that they're like, what is going on with me? And and that's kind of what they're coming through with is like they're scared of losing you. And they're scared with what's going the changes that are going on within them. They're like, why, why do I feel this way? My head hurts. Like, I just don't, I don't want to deal with this. I am getting that from your person. Like, I kind of just want to give them a hug and let them know, like, yeah, purging hurts. Awakenings are not the easiest, you know? Awakenings, gosh, you will cry a lot through awakenings. You will, a, a lot of stuff will surface uh, during awakenings so that you can let go of the past and this person is going to have to go through all that for a lot of you guys pile two you guys need to let me know down below i'm getting another message that you send your person um energy through the 5d okay so maybe when you go into meditation you send this person love or healing energy i want to let you guys know it's working like really strongly like you're whenever you go into meditation and if you do do that or even if it's not meditation, if you, maybe you visit them through dreams and you send them healing energy or maybe you kiss them. I don't know. I am getting like a really rom like um, lovey-dovey love. You send them love through the 5D energy, um, through the 5D. So that could be through dreams, again, meditation. Maybe even when you're awake, you look up at the sky and you say something to the divine to, to tell them they're getting it. They're getting all those signs, all of them, okay? So, um, yeah, very interesting energy here. We have cleaning house and what do you need to release, right? So I can clearly see that your person is cleansing. Major, major, major cleansing. We have the number 10 twice, right? Because this is the number 37, which adds up to a 10. And we have the 10 here. So this is going to come to a completion, you guys, okay? I sense that October can be something big. If you guys are not in communication, you can start to see something in October, maybe, even if it's something small, right? Um, and if that number isn't relevant, it's just that, like, I'm seeing that there is progress being made. I definitely see that. And and this will come to a completion, this uh this cleansing. Because your person is cleaning house, right? They're they're leaving the stuff that no longer serves them. They might not understand it, but they are doing that. The the universe is forcing them to do that, poor baby. I, I am I am like, oh poor baby. Because they don't understand pile two. For a lot of you guys, pile two, your person may not be like like, they could believe in things, like uh, a higher being or the divine, but they're not tapped into it like you are, Pile 2. So there is, like, a difference. You understand it way better. They don't. And they're just like, huh? <laughs> like, what do I do? Um, we have, what do you need to release? Yeah, so they are questioning that. They, maybe they're questioning, like, why they're thinking of past things. And it's because it's surfacing so that they can finally let it go. This is beautiful, you guys. This is really beautiful. I am getting a sense of determination from the universe. We have birds here, birds here, and birds here, right? There's a lot of the divine that has taken over. I kind of want to see what's more information. Yeah, look, something's growing behind the scenes. You need to be patient, pile two. Something beautiful is growing behind the scenes. Just wait for it. Wait for it. The seeds have been planted, and this is growing. I am, okay. 
Look at this. This is so nice. Man holding a coin. I feel like your person wants to let you know that they do want to come forward with with an offer here. All right? Like, if you think about it, this person is going from, like, a baby to the king of pentacles. Like, that is literally what I'm getting. Someone that wants to keep you safe. Someone that wants to make you feel secure, assured, safe in a relationship, right? They're protective. And I sense that your person was not any of those things when you guys were together. And they're starting to learn, like, hey, I was kind of like a... I don't want to use this word, but it's the word that's coming through. I don't use this word usually, but... I am hearing like I was a douchebag for some of you guys. I don't know why. Maybe it's not that serious for some of you guys, but for a lot of you guys, that is the sentence that I heard. I'm a douchebag. Um, and now they want to come in with a serious offer. So the universe is preparing them. It, it's, it's taking time still. And I see my feminine energy. You guys are rocking it, by the way, okay? Like, keep doing what you're doing because that's what's helping this person, um, the union attract okay that's what's helping it come together we have the indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life <clears throat> again you have two cards about intuition here with the high priestess and the indecision card so yeah that i feel like that's why your person could be a little lost right now okay they want to do this i feel like this is future energy what they're telling you is one day they are going to come in with an offer but right now they're still learning how to use their intuition so yeah, loves. It's just it's it's really allowing them to grow on their own time. So I'm I'm feeling what like really what your person is telling you is keep doing you. Like you need to keep going. They they will catch up. Okay, they need to go through their own journey. I gave like a uh, I said something to Pile One like union does consist of two people, right? But the journeys are two two separate journeys okay your journey is not going to be the same as this person's journey so let them you know catch up <laughs> this is so nice and then we have origins remember your roots yeah it's crazy i have to say pile two mm, i just i wish I could tell your person that everything's going to be okay because i can really see that they are going through it with the origins remember your roots right now they are like their past is really coming up a lot they're starting to remember who was i like who was um i'm gonna give an example because this is coming through like let's say your person keeps up walls right they're starting to ask themselves who who was i before i built those walls why did i even build up those walls was it because i got hurt was it because i saw family um not work out right was i in a toxic family situation was it because of my parents was it because of past relationships did i get abused it you know all sorts of things is it because of friendships why is it hard for me to trust it can be all sorts of things but they're starting to remember who they really are deep down inside before they built up walls and again that's just an example please apply it as if it's you could know a lot more about your person's problems right than what's coming through but i do see your person does have some past baggage i can clearly see that and you hear that yeah your person's i have to say pile two there's something about um <laughs> your person wants to be loyal with the king of pentacles this is like the most loyal king okay um, I don't want to say the most loyal king, but he is honest and loyal. And that's what you're, who your person is starting, who, who they want to become. If you think about it, they actually look like the same, right? It's just, this guy's like a lot younger than this guy. So your person is maturing. They want to mature. They want to be the king of pentacles. Maybe right now they're just the page, right? And that's okay. Um, let them grow. Heck, I feel like your person's just the fool. It's like a baby, right? The fool is the first card, a baby. Um, I do feel like some of them are crying out for your energy. So pile two, I have to say keep going. But what your person is letting you know is that they are, they're getting back to basics. They are trying to remember who they were as a per, like before when they were still um, innocent. Okay, I'll say that because we do all have innocence inside of us. Okay, you guys. And I feel like they are tapping into that. Like, who was I before I became this person? 
right? I don't want to be this person anymore that causes hurt. Because I feel like they, they know that they've hurt you and they don't want to keep doing that. They want to come in this way. Beautiful, beautiful reading, you guys. Your person is like going through it i will say that but they're they're willing to come in better and i have to say when you make that decision it's just it says a lot about you so pile two if you want to give this person a chance i say go ahead and yeah it's up to you but i say this person's worth it obviously with time because this person still needs to heal they're currently healing um so yeah this is beautiful though really nice energy um, let's get into it. So let's get some free messages from my pile two's person. Mm, no, there's too many. Three messages. Okay, you guys are going crazy. Three messages from my pile two's person. So we have, um, you are so different from me. I'm telling you guys, you guys are very different from this person. You have it a lot more together than they do, and that's okay. I want to remind you guys, Pile 2, that doesn't make you better than your person, okay? I just, I don't know, I don't believe that. Don't let ego get in the way ever. I'm not saying that you guys are. Um, I just like to clarify that. That is something, we need to check ourselves, right? Let's not let our egos get in the way. This person has so much potential and ish. They're just as loving. They just have some walls up for some of you guys. I am seeing that for some of them, they actually do have walls up. Um, yeah, they're wanting to let you know you're so different. I feel trapped because they're going through this awakening. They don't understand it. <laughs> um, I definitely see that. Thank you. And then we have, I want to show you my authentic self. Wow. Stop. I'm telling you, that's why this person is going back to basics. They are asking themselves the right questions. I absolutely love this. You guys, pile two, you don't have to worry because I do see the divine helping them out. With how many birds we see here, it's like the divine are sending them. You know, you're a little sneaky pile too. There is something about you. I feel like you'd be talking to to the divine and be like tell them this <laughs> and they are the divine is being sneaky with you like you guys are a team a funny team i like this i like this energy this is cute oh these were two oh they were stuck together interesting okay so you have an extra message i told you guys you guys are sneaky do you see that mm, pile two <laughs> You guys are so cute. Oh, you guys are so sweet. It says you have changed me. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Because look at you. Right? You know what you're doing. <laughs> you're like, go tell them this. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, bye, L2. I'm going to end it there. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to answer the question if you feel called to. I am going to be picking two winners. All right? So, yeah, leave a comment, be subscribed, and I might pick you. It is random, by the way. It's random. All right, my loves. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, Pile 3, for those of you guys that chose this rainbow fluorite, let's go ahead and see what is it that your person, what's a, like a quick message that they want to tell you right now? So let's see. We have Temperance. We have the Magician. Okay. Two of Cups in the reverse and the Hierophant in the reverse. Interesting energy. Uh, and it's crooked too. Okay. Okay, and let me get the bottom of your deck here. And excuse me while I get a sip of my coffee and look at your tarot really quick. Let's see. All right, pile three, what is it that your person wants to tell you right now? 
I have to say, this is beautiful energy. Like, uh, I can't. This is so nice, what your person wants to tell you. Um, wow. Okay. So we have the temperance as the first card pulling out. I, coming out. I do see <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Sorry, there was just like obviously that sex joke, right? Why that came out, I don't know. And why I thought of it that way, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Um, do you guys have that like type of relationship with this person maybe? Like you guys make some jokes or like you guys are just dumb together or something? Anyways, yeah, because I don't know why I thought of it like that. I'm good. Let's get back to it. <clears throat> so we have the temperance card coming out. So what I see here, you guys, is... I feel like your person, what they want to let you know is right now they are gaining, I'm trying not to laugh, I don't know why it's coming through, I might need to pause the video, okay, no, I think I'm okay, ooh, okay, this is so silly, let me know down below, that's, I don't think that's ever happened, okay, I feel like you guys just have a silly energy between you and your person, you guys are really funny, um, with the... I was going to say the two of cups. With the temperance card here, your person is trying their hardest to balance out their energies right now, okay? There is a sense that the first thing that they want to tell you is to be a little bit patient with them, all right? Because um, the temperance card is all about patience. I really like the temperance is like card is so beautiful because that is something from the divine. So I do feel like this connection, pile three, whoever this person is and you, it is divinely guided when it's with the temperance card here. It's just that I am getting a lot of kind of divine timing here. Okay, so everything has its time. Just remember that pile three. Right now, what your person, oh God, really strong energy between the temperance and the magician. I am almost seeing them together. Your person is trying to gain back their full power because they know um, they're digging. I feel like they're digging within themselves, right? Their inner strength to come through and, and get things done. So that can be in all sorts of areas of life. That can be um, work. That could be their personal lives. Like, I think honestly with it's within themselves and there is a romantic kind of vibe to it because we do have like flowers here right roses I feel like your person wants to maybe give you flowers or roses or something like that I don't know the next time they see you but pile three I can definitely see <clears throat> your person right now is trying to gain back their full power that is, that's what they want to tell you. It's like, hey, I'm literally re-energizing myself and I'm getting my mojo back. I, I am getting that. Your person is learning that they're powerful manifestors as well. They got what it takes to manifest their life, to create their reality. Um, they just need to set the right intentions, right? And do the right work and put in the right work to do that. I can clearly see that. This is very beautiful energy. Next, we have the two of cups in the reverse and the hierophant in reverse. So what I'm seeing right now, Pile 3, is like your person is very aware that, okay, for a lot of you guys, Pile 3, I'm going to just say it. I feel like this could have been like a separation issue. Maybe you guys had a breakup or, yeah, for a lot of you guys, it's like you guys had some sort of disagreement. Maybe you guys weren't on the same page, right? And there was a split. I, I definitely see that, Pile 3. <clears throat> It doesn't mean you guys, like, can't be talking or anything like that, but I do sense, Pile 3, that there this was, like, a separation issue <clears throat> or a breakup issue. If you guys are together, this may not be your pile, all right? But you can hang in there and listen, all right, to see what comes through. <clears throat> I am seeing that your person knows that they've caused this separation, okay? And they're not liking it. It's not fun. I can clearly see that. All right. <clears throat> With the hierophant in the reverse, I can, I, I can, I'm also getting like, your person has learned a lot of lessons because with the Hierophant upright, okay, it's about learning lessons, right? But with it in the reverse, I feel like your person has learned a lot of them already. Like this is still in the process, but with it in reverse, it's like they're almost at a completion with learning lessons, which is really, really good. I feel like that's why they're in this magician mode now, like feeling determined to make their reality happen, feeling determined to make their dreams come true, right? So that they can come towards you. So that this two of cups, 
turns in the reverse turns into the two of cups upright right because they know right now that you guys are not in union right um i can clearly see that for some of you guys this person is still learning i feel like they're they're still going through their lessons okay so please just take it as it resonates pile three all right the hierophant is also a card about um the divine coming in to assist to me the hierophant is the is, is god so whatever whoever you believe to be god okay that is someone that watches over your connection and this person um a, a, as you as well you guys but with it in reverse i do feel like maybe your person could be delaying some lessons it's going to be different for all of you guys for a lot of you guys i feel like your person has already learned a lot of them and some of them they may be delaying okay <laughs> um maybe it's like hard to see you know i am getting that one of like the lessons that they're learning i am connecting it with this for some odd reason as a step out of your comfort zone and if you look at it this owl right is inside this temple it does not want to come out right it's almost like he's hiding underneath this temple he's comfortable and really they're like hey come out you got to come down the stairs and say something right and he's like oh my god do i have to <laughs> do i have to i don't want to right they're scared so i feel like one of the lessons one of the last lessons that they have to go through is opening up being vulnerable saying what it is that they feel so and that's why they have step out of your comfort zone so i feel like your person is saying like hey be patient with me until i learn this final lesson until i actually take that final step and it's funny that we say the word step because they are there are stairs here your person does have to take steps to do that right the necessary steps to um <clears throat> open up underlying energy we have the strength card i absolutely oh my goodness i love that you guys that makes me so happy how many positive cards are you guys gonna get mm, i love it uh, i absolutely love this deck you guys it is the cutest the uh i'm like can all these animals just come to life because i like this is one of my favorites the strength card it's the cutest strength card i've ever seen this reminds me of my puppy like they just oh it's so cute i just want to mm, i just want to squeeze them so cute <laughs> um but with the underlying energy we do have the strength card so what i'm getting is like your person has this as subconscious energy okay they're still they still need to access it because if you think about the strength card is someone that's very compassionate someone that's very loving someone that and like look we have like these two animals comforting each other right so i pile three i have to say i feel like because there's so many cards with two people in it right or i shouldn't say people but two animals two here two here two here and two here right so your person knows that they feel comfortable with you they know that for a lot of you guys pile three i feel like whoever's watching my pile three is there you guys are people that are very understanding very loving you guys have showed this per, per, blah, 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 i can't talk this person your emotions maybe you have you guys have told them you guys have opened up right so they know that they can come towards you but it's still in process it's still in progress uh, or process <laughs> they're still um processing this because this is subconscious energy okay so they do want to come towards you i feel like for a lot of them they do want to be lovey-dovey with you it's just it's it's hard for them and if you see these two animals there's kind of like um there's this unspoken understanding between the two because he had this little sheep has the eyes closed and so does the lion right and they're not saying anything but they understand each other regardless right so that is the energy that's why your person feels safe right now with not opening up because they're like okay i haven't said anything but my person understands why or why i haven't okay like it's really nice i really oh i i think this this pile is so special this is so cute um but let them love pile three you guys just allow them to come near you that it is something that they're gonna have to learn to step out of their comfort zone they're gonna and you know for it to be the hierophant card they're gonna be pushed by the divine to do it regardless so it's just like 
time will tell you guys really crowning energy is the six of cups how cute so your person is thinking about reconciling with you if they haven't like if you guys are in no, in no contact okay your person really does want reconciliation with you okay for some of you guys this will lead to a marriage because we do have the six of cups and the hierophant here okay so that's like really in the future but yeah take it as it resonates pile three but i do see that this person wants reconciliation with you they're thinking about it if you guys are already talking i feel like this person just wants to kind of go to the next level with you but again with the two of cups in the reverse they're still stopping themselves from doing that right so they want it they're thinking about it but they just haven't made the move to do that yet they have the power to but they're still gaining back their power for you guys, Pile 3, I feel like maybe your person could have already gone through some sort of purging or cleansing. Because <clears throat> I don't see a lot of it in the cards right now, but I feel like maybe they just got out of it. Or see with the Hierophant in the reverse, they either just got out of it or they still have more to learn before they come towards you, okay? So yeah, they want to come towards you in like the right way, which I have to say, like that's really nice that your person has that mentality, right? It's cute. Um, we also have the Ten of Cups. So you make this person so happy, you guys. Like, this person just wants to tell you, like, you make me so happy. You check all my boxes. You literally, you light up my world. And again, it's a, it's another card showing, like, family in the future, right? Um, it doesn't mean you guys necessarily have to have kids. It's not that. It's just that you are their family. They feel so comfortable with you guys, Pile 3. They really do. <clears throat> let's let's look at um some of these other cards actually i just want to see what is this okay five of wands so there could be external factors involved okay or maybe some internal ones because the five of wands could represent both um and you know i think i gave this message to pile one you guys it's like if you guys are meant to be which clearly pile three you know i don't like to give fluff readings but for you guys i can clearly see this is yeah my fingers are tingling. This is uh, ascending to something more, okay? Um, this For a lot of you guys, this is turning into union in the future. But um, I, what I was going to say is if you guys are meant to be, no obstacle, no interference, no nothing could ever stop you guys from coming together. It might not seem like it when you're going through an obstacle with a person or when you're, you know, especially if there's like... <clears throat> interference is involved whether it's family maybe it's another person maybe it's like someone's belief system right maybe they don't believe highly of themselves or something like that it could be all sorts of things but really nothing can truly come in between so just remember that uh, especially for you guys with the hierophant here and the temperance i definitely see that there is something divine guiding you guys um yeah very to think oh you guys actually i just noticed yeah, you guys have three major arcana. Four, really, with the, the strength card, which I think is really powerful. Um, so yeah, step out of your comfort zone. Pile three, I will say, if you guys are mirroring this person, which I feel like you guys could be, you guys go ahead and do that too. What is something that you need to step out of your comfort zone in? What is it? Is it speaking? Is it maybe? It'll be different for all of you guys, whoever my feminine energy is. I don't know. Is it being by yourself a little bit more, right? It'll, again, it'll be different. I don't know. If you do that, I feel like it'll push your person to do the same because you guys are mirroring each other, right? I like that. I really like that. So take that into consideration, Pile 3. We have humility. Flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They blossom regardless. <clears throat> I feel like this is something that your person is currently learning and they're le letting you know that because this is a card about self-worth really with the humility card here um flowers are unaware of each other's beauty they bloom regardless so this is almost about staying in your own lane right you don't have to worry about that person being better than you that person being faster than you that person smarter than you oh my god that person's more funny oh that person looks better no right? It doesn't matter. You're still growing regardless. You're still going to do, you, you still are capable of creating the life that you want, regardless of how other people look like, how they sound like, how good they are, what they do for a living, what they don't do. You know, all these things, the characteristics that they have, what are the characteristics that you have? How about that? 
right? And it's like, your person is finally learning that. So if pile three, we don't see it in the tarot, but I do sense that your person maybe has battled with some self-worth issues, okay? And they're learn what they want to let you know is like, hey, I'm gaining my power again. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to stay stuck there anymore, right? I don't want to have self-limiting beliefs, okay? I'm going to make things happen for me because I am unique. I am my own person, right? And I, and like your person deserves that, right? Regardless if they mean mistakes, they deserve, they deserve that. Um, I love this. I love this. We have compass. So yeah, I feel like your person is being put on the right track again. I feel like they were once lost again with the hierophant in the reverse, right? They were once lost, but now they're getting put, they're getting put back. Yeah, I do see that. I do see that. This is so nice. They're finding direction again. 50 adds up to a five, which is the number of change, you guys. So beautiful. And I do see that this could be one of the external interferences. We have financial constraints, right? So for a lot of them, they could be dealing with some money issues or if they have money, it's just that maybe they're trying to save up more because they, this person really cares about balance with the six of cups and the six, um, or sorry, and the temperance card. They want this relationship to be an equal give and take and so that's why another reason right now why they're stopping from being fully committed to you maybe okay like i said pile three do they have to think like that no because you know i i doubt that you care about the money <laughs> pile three but you can't help it when a person thinks a certain way okay so that's just like i said this is their own journey this is something that they need to learn things that they need to learn um and realize on their own so yeah, such beautiful energy, you guys. I absolutely love this. And then we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, your person is learning how to, um, that inner voice is your heart, right? It's not your head. Your person is learning how to follow their intuition. I and you guys do have three cups card. Like your, your person is a sensitive person. They do have love to give. It's just that maybe right now they're not showing everything okay yeah they could be they could be but maybe not everything i don't see that the, i feel like they're holding a lot back with the two of cups and reverse and the hierophant and the reverse they don't want to let you know everything but that's why they need to step out of their comfort zone and again they're being divinely guided to do that you guys so again pio three if you feel like maybe you need to step out of your comfort zone again ask yourself that it could be something as simple as like what i don't know i'll give an example this is kind of silly but you just never know maybe uh i don't know putting on that dress that like i don't know you haven't worn in a while or maybe trying something new right um it could be wearing like a different style of clothes maybe showing more skin maybe showing less like whatever whatever that's out of your comfort zone and you're like i've actually always wanted to do that then do it right why not um and I feel like it's it's going to help this person mirror you. I really like it. This is so nice. This is a really nice message. There is a message from your person to trust the process. Like trust that this person is coming because they want to. They really want to. Um, and I do see this person opening up because I feel like they're going to be forced to for whatever reason. Yeah, that's not something in your control, Pyro 3. I do want to make that clear. Do not force or push this person. That is not... Um, that's not healthy because then you interfere with divine timing, okay? And that's the opposite of what you want to do. Let's get some messages here from my pile threes person. Oh, messages from my pile threes person. Can I have three of these? Thank you. It says, I feel you with me. You guys, I told you. That is so sweet. I feel you with me. Yeah, you guys are so... Uh, I love this. I love this. Thank you. We have... My responsibilities are weighing me down. Yeah, so I do sense with the external factors, again, that we saw here. Your person, like, it, it is. It could be a lot of money issues. It could be work. It could be... Uh, I don't know. It could be kids. If, you're, if your person has kids, it could be school. It could be all sorts of things. Family, maybe they take care of someone. I don't know. All sorts of things, my loves. 
I can't handle the situation. So your person could be going through something that's really tough right now, okay? If they open up to you guys about it, my loves, obviously it's your choice to support them or not. But I do see that's why this person is holding back. But they want so much more. It's just that they're holding back for right now. Let let them come close. I, I feel like they will pile three, okay? And again, if you guys are in no communication, I do see this person reaching out. You mean a lot to them. Just let them gain back their power. They, they are still going through that. It says, I am coming. Oh, wow. Look at that. I told you. Wow. I can't believe that came out. I am coming towards you with an offer. Yeah, you guys, like I said, leave it to divine timing. Bottom of the deck, I am watching you from afar. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, my loves, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget um, to comment something down below. I am picking two winners. And answer the question of the day if you want to. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye, my loves.